No testimony, evidence, or arguments are scheduled for today in the Derek Chauvin trial. Larissa Millis is here to let us know where things stand. Larissa? Jeff, we may just be days away from a verdict. The defense rested its case yesterday after Chauvin invoked his Fifth Amendment right to not testify, effectively concluding all witness testimony. With closing arguments expected to begin on Monday, I spoke with some University of Minnesota students to see how they are reacting to the trial. National attention has been on Minnesota since the start of the Derek Chauvin trial last month. After several weeks of jury selection, testimony began on March 29th. For the first time in the state of Minnesota, cameras are allowed in the courtroom. This means that for many University of Minnesota students, they are able to watch the trial live on various news streaming platforms. I'd be speaking incoherently. Are resistant. And define that. It's one of the first few cases where officers who commit killings actually went to a court in the first place. Vincent Liu is a senior in the Sociology of Law, Crime, and Deviance program at the University of Minnesota. He believes the Chauvin trial will spark change. The movement shouldn't start with a trial. Like, you see people are killing everywhere. It's not only about Black people, it's about the Asian people. It's about, like, Hispanic people. It's about, like, Native people. They're being killed everywhere and in a much more, well, in a higher proportion than white people. The prosecution rested its case on Tuesday after 11 days of testimony from 38 witnesses. Those witnesses included bystanders on the scene, paramedics, doctors, and police officers. Justice will be done. I do have a lot of faith into the in, in the, uh, the justice system to, to rule in the favor of, of the family of George Floyd and, and George Floyd himself. So. Maurice Johnson is a senior in the political science department at the U. Like Lou, Johnson has been paying close attention to the trial. He believes it is important for university students and the community to know what is going on with the trial. I think just as a city, uh, I mean, we just have to band together, especially as students. Uh, the biggest thing is to inform ourselves of what's going on in the media. It's definitely important. We can't turn a blind eye to it. Um, but at the same time, it's important to arm ourselves with more knowledge. After closing statements, the judge will instruct the jury, which will begin deliberations. There's no way to know how long that will take. Jeff, back to you. Thanks, Larissa.